Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us on Fox 23 News. After winning an SEC best five straight games, the MSU men have jumped up a bit in the AP polls, coming in at number 18. The Bulldogs earned a huge win over Clemson this weekend, led by Lamar Peters and his program record eight three-pointers. And that wasn't where the record stopped, because the men would hit a school record 19 triples in the 82-71 victory. Peters posted a career best for the second consecutive game, knocking 28 points, dishing out five assists to pass the 300 mark in his career. Quindary Weatherspoon followed suit with 20 points and seven boards as MSU improved their record to 8-1. and one. The Dogs welcome in the defending AAC champ Cincinnati to Humphrey Coliseum this Saturday night. And both the Rebel men and women earned some wins over the weekend. The woman taking on Savannah State as Crystal Allen made history in the 74-51 win. Allen became the 30th Rebel to hit the 1,000 point mark with a team high 27 points on the night. As for the men, they would top Illinois State 81-74 as Brian Tyree and Terrence Davis combined for 42 points on the road. The men take on Southeastern Louisiana Wednesday night in Jackson, while the ladies take on Louisiana Wednesday morning at home at 11 a.m. And the Ole Miss football team has a new defensive coordinator. Mike McIntyre has replaced Wesley McGriff on Matt Luke's coaching staff. McIntyre has spent the last six years as head coach at the University of Colorado, earning Coach of the Year honors in 2016 after leading the team to their first 10-win season in 15 years. McIntyre is a 29-year coaching vet, including five seasons in the NFL. This will be his second stint with Ole Miss after working on the staff from 1999 to 2002. Three Bulldogs have earned some spots on one of the Associated Press's All-America teams. Montez Sweat named to the first team to become the first MSU athlete on the first team since 2014, while Jeffrey Simmons and Jonathan Abram would both be selected to the third team. This comes about one week after these three guys were given a handful of honors, Sweat and Simmons all SEC choices, Sweat and Abram garnering All-America honors from Sports Illustrated, while Simmons picked up All-America honors from the Athletic. Well, Sunday was made a little sweeter thanks to the Saints because not only did they claim the NFC South title, but they also bumped up in the NFC ranks at number one. And it was a lot different than week one when the Saints fell 48 to 40. At the half, Nola was down 14-3, but bring on the third quarter and a switch would finally be flipped. Breeze finds Zach Line, get his team on the board, Second touchdown of the season for Line, and then Alvin Kamara would punch in the two-point conversion. Saints would be down three points. And then in the fourth quarter, Saints in front by four. Breeze hands it off to Mark Ingram, and he plows through the Bucks defense, making it to the end zone. No Fitzmagic out in Tampa on Sunday as the Saints won it 28-14. You know, one of the things I said prior to the game is, you know, when it's all done, and when we're all finished, it's not going to be the material things you miss. It's going to be like right now this is what you're going to miss. And so we had that opportunity going in and, and you know, we're really, uh, we're all in the business of trying to make memories. Obviously we still have a lot of work left ahead of us, but um, you know, goal number one was to, to win the division, win the division again. And uh, we were able to do that. And, and I like the way we won this game. You know, we, we, uh, we didn't play too well in the first half, obviously came, came in with a, a big deficit and we're able to come together and with, with all, all sides making plays in that second half. Mm. Man, man, what a comeback in the second half. Yep. Uh, Cause at at halftime they were not good. Not, not looking, looking good. good. No. Whatever Sean Payton said in the locker room must have been inspirational Inspiring. for that. Inspiring. Probably probably <laughs> said a few choice words. In the locker room celebration at the end, also I don't know if you guys saw it, but it was looking fun in there. A little rocket. Sean Payton you, having some you guys, fun. You guys, you guys need to play there. better. Let's go out here and give it 110. percent I'm sure that's exactly <laughs> like that. Just like that.